Well, there are just four days left before the election, and President Barack Obama will be at Wayne State University tomorrow campaigning for Democrats. Jeff Bond joins us now with a preview. Jeff? Uh, Malcolm, good evening. The last time the president was here in uh, Detroit was three years ago. Now uh, he's going to appear in this building here behind me tomorrow on the campus of Wayne State University. This is all part of a big push by politicians to get your vote. Halloween isn't just for trick-or-treating, it's for politicking. Snyder, Shower, all making a push to appeal to voters in the final hours before the polls open. Incumbent Governor Rick Snyder and Democratic challenger Mark Shower are at a close race. Our exclusive poll out earlier this week shows the two are a few points apart. And that means the political bigwigs are coming out. President Obama visiting Detroit on Saturday, stomping for Mark Shower, candidate for governor. Shower's campaign calling it an honor to have the president help out. Obama has stepped up his appearances on behalf of candidates in the last week. For those Democrats that want to be seen with the president, his approval rating only at 42 percent. And for the Republicans, Action News has learned New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, a potential presidential candidate in 2016, will return to Detroit November 3rd to help get the vote out for Snyder. But do the big names bring the big votes? Political analysts say the visits only appeal to the respective parties' base and not the undecideds. But that could be the difference in the tight race like Snyder and Showers. A total of 5,000 free tickets were available leading up to this event. As I understand it, it is sold out. The president will make his remarks at 7 p.m. tomorrow. The doors open at 5. Live Detroit, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News.